All right, and we're back. Practicing medicine without a license. Uh, you folks can practice medicine on yourselves without a license. You know that. You don't need one. The book is amazing. Uh, it really should be read by everyone. I, I, do, I still remember, Owen, that effort to discredit Linus Pauling's vitamin C. And I don't want to dwell on that too much. Uh, there's too many uh, positive things to talk about. But basically, what you said right before the break is fascinating. Uh, most, apparently, most everyone has scurvy to one right. degree or another, whether right. it's subclinical, clinical, or whatever. Uh, it's right. there. And that's what's causing the damage to the arterial walls, the building up of the plaque, and the atherosclerosis. Now, pa- You've nailed it. Pa- Pauling figured that out. How is it that vitamin C can somehow trigger the reversal of this plaque buildup? What is it about reversing scurvy that allows the, the plaque, the hardened artery, to become again more flexible and to open up? Well, you know, that's, that's a great question. And it brings to mind the work of Dr. Sidney Bush, an optometrist, who was looking at uh, vitamin C in half of his patients for an to investigate its effect on an eye infection. And he just happened to notice you can see with these, uh, these equipment the optometrist used, these white atheromas that form in these microscopic arteries, mm-hmm. and they're aware of them, and they, uh, most optometrists don't think they can be reversed. And, they, and uh, he noticed that in the group getting the vitamin C, they were, he could see it dissolving. They were reversing. And he has uh, published his work to show that, uh, you know, in his experience, most people will, re- the plaques will start to resolve within 10, by taking 10 grams, and it might take up to a month. That's, in, that's are, you know, that's, are, ab- that's absolutely stunning news, it, and it ought to rock every cardiologist yeah. on their butt. It, it really should. That's why I would rather, I mean, I think it's better to have cardiologists read this book because they have not gotten any of this in their training. I've been through a lot of their nutrition training. They never mentioned vitamin C once to them. What nutrition training? That's right. But, I mean, even in the case of the therapeutic nutrition course that I attended, I audited it at a pre-medical school. Did they you really? Well, good. Bravo well, for you. That's real research. Wow. Well, you know, and, and I was, it was like a twilight zone. They didn't mention vitamin C once the entire, you know, so these kids go through this training and they, they, there can't be anything there right because i would be taught about it there's no way that i wouldn't be taught so it's sort of a there's a vacuum and they just assume that there's nothing there and of course mm-hmm. there's a there's a huge mountain underneath thank, right. thankfully that the, the polling opens up but anyway so bush has seen that these soft atheromas can you know can be reversed very quickly but the harder calcified you know over time the actual plaque can become calcified become harder Right. And that seems to take longer. But it can it, be dissolved. It looks like two years, even in two years, he noticed that in one of his patients came back two years later and was gone. So he has a before and that's after. That's absolutely, that's stunning. Now, it is stunning. If you think about it, they can use this technique, no radiation, completely non-invasive. As long as your arterial system is connected to the rest of the body, you're getting a picture mm-hmm. of how the plaque is forming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you can determine your own dose. And if you like something else better, you could try that and see if, if it reverses your atheromas in your eyes. So he calls this cardioretinometry, and he's trying to publish, but he's, he's running into the same roadblock that anybody in alternative medicine, including Pauling, ran into. Pauling, as a member of the National Academy of Science, was able to get his papers published in the proceedings. Uh-huh. And that's how he was able to get around this barrier, but nobody else can get around the barrier and get their, get their stuff published. So we could go on and on about that. It's, it's sad. So, but what a, yeah, what a, it, this should, a, be, it this, should be news. Well, this isn't the news. It's only <laughs> the, biggest, it's the biggest story in cardiology probably of our lifetimes. That's right. And it's, you know, what we see, and as I point out in the book, we see amazing reversals in a very short amount of time, and it's something that anybody who has, you know, five senses should be able to notice, not only us, and yet, the, and yet, for some reason, it's not noticed at all by cardiology until they retire.